friends now after knowing different parts of the plant different types of the plants herbs shrubs trees climbers and creepers now we would like to know the functions of each of these parts of the plant so let's start with the stem right you all can identify the stem now in the plants this is the stem of this plant the function of this stem it is very easy to know by looking at it right what is the stem doing the stem is providing support right it is helping the plant to stand erect it is giving rise to the branches so all the branches are supported are based on these stems the leaves are arising from the stems do you think there is any other function of the stem let's find out so here is an activity which we are doing okay i have taken a stem from any plant of your choice you can take i have taken a stem here which was in my garden in a glass of water you can put some ink or color all right now put this stem in this glass for some hours some stems are thick they take more time for giving result but some stems might give you quick in half an hour or so so i am going to keep this stem for some time in the colored water okay now let's see what happens so now it's been half an hour i am going to cut this stem and see oh see the red color has come to the upper part of the stem too also you know if you keep it for some hours you will see this red color has risen above the stem and it might be visible also in the leaves so why is this happening because stem is acting as a straw okay so all the water and minerals which are absorbed by the roots the stem is doing the conduction which is the function of stem conduction of water and minerals okay so the stem here though it is not inside the soil inside the soil we have roots right so from that roots this stem is taking the water up and providing it to all the leaves and other parts of the plants this is a very important function of stem okay so what are the functions of stem giving support to the branches and the leaves and helping in the conduction of water and minerals these are the two very important functions of stem and this is the activity which you can very easily perform at home and see the results by yourself okay so this is about the stem now let's look at a leaf what does a leaf look like what are the different parts of a leaf what is the function of a leaf okay students so you can see the leaves here and here i have taken a big leaf to explain to you the parts of a leaf so the first thing is this flat green portion what you see in a leaf right this flat green portion here this flat green portion here this is called lamina what is it called this is called lamina or a leaf lamina all of you get it the flat green portion of the leaf is called leaf lamina now this lamina is attached to the stem by a very small stalk can you see this this stalk right so this lamina is attached to this stem let me label this as well this is a stem the lamina is attached to the stem by a small stalk which is called petiole so this small stalk here it is called petiole the lamina is attached to the stem by the help of a petiole okay so now we know the structure of the leaf what it is called the flat green portion let's move to the details 
Now, can you see a big vein here at the center? This big vein at the middle of the leaf, it is called midrib because it is at the middle, right? So, this is called midrib, which is at the center. Now, you can see very small veins, very thin lines which are coming out from the midrib. These are called veins. They are called veins. So, we have a lamina. At the center of the lamina, there is a midrib. And from the midrib, there are veins which are coming out. If you see closely, there are many veins. Maybe you can see this clearly, but from this vein also, there are many smaller veins which are coming out. If you cannot find it, you just turn the leaf or try to look at the leaf in the light. You will be able to see that veins. These veins are arranged in different leaves in different pattern. Okay? So, the arrangement of these veins, the design in which the veins are arranged in the leaf, it is called leaf venation. Okay? We will see more about venation just after this. But you keep in mind that the arrangement of these veins in the leaf is called venation. Okay? It is called venation. Okay, students? So, now let's move to the next topic which is venation of the leaf. What is venation? Venation is the arrangement of veins in the leaves. It is arrangement of veins. How are the veins arranged in a leaf? Make the venation. So there will be some leaves you go into your garden and try to look out. Okay? There will be some leaves where this is the midrib. From midrib, other veins will come out and there will be many branches of this. Okay? So, there is network like veins. In the leaf, you will see a network kind of thing. Network is also called reticulum. So, this venation is called reticulate. It is called Reticulate. This is reticulate. But in some other leaves you will see that the midrib is no different from others. Okay. There will be obviously a vein at the center and parallel to this many other veins will come. There are no branches, there is no reticulate venation. This venation where the veins are parallel is called parallel venation. I have two leaves here. Okay. In this one you have parallel venation. In this one you have reticulate. I will show them to you closely. Try to observe that. So here if you see reticulate venation, you can see there is a midrib. Then there are branches coming out. From that branches also very thin network like veins are coming out. Okay. Now see this leaf. In this leaf you will see that it has a parallel venation. There, are, there is a midrib. There are other veins which are parallel to the midrib. So this venation is called parallel venation. So now we know the structure of the leaf, right? Now we should learn about the functions of the leaf. Let's see what are the functions of the leaf. Okay students, so now we saw the structure of the leaf. There are very important functions which the leaves perform. In the next lecture, keep in mind the structure, the color of the leaf and what are the different parts of the leaf and we will move and we will see what are the functions of the leaf. So till then bye and we will meet in the next lecture to see the functions of the leaf.